For dinner tonight, I'm making shredded beef sandwiches. This is not your normal Italian beef sandwich. I'm using a smoked hickory seasoning. I'm putting some peppers, half au jus broth, half beef broth, some other seasonings, and then I'm gonna put it on a, a sweet Hawaiian hoagie. It's, it's kind of like a sweet Hawaiian bun, but it actually is just kind of like a hoagie. You slice it in half, you'll bake it, put whatever kind of cheese on top, very similar to the Italian beef, but the flavors of the beef will be separate. So let's get started. So to get started, you're gonna put, I have a two and a half pound chuck roast in here in my crock pot. I use this flat crock pot because I like the way it evenly cooks, but you can use your same kind of big one that are very commonly used. So you're gonna take this, you're gonna put a little bit of salt and then a little bit of pepper. And then this is a smoked hickory seasoning. I got it at the market. It's a mix of different kinds of spices, brown sugar, um, regular sugar, and um, like a natural smoked flavor. So if you go to the store, you can probably find something similar of like a smoked hickory or any kind of smoked kind of flavor. But this I got specifically at the market in one of those little like party dip mixes. This is actually something where you could put in cream cheese and use it as a veggie dip or it's a meat rub. So it's really versatile and I love those. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder, not too much because you don't want also, you don't want the dish to be too salty. And then a little bit of oregano and then a little bit of onion powder because I'm not putting diced onions in it. Here I have cut up sweet mini yellow and red peppers. These are just the regular peppers that you would put into Italian beef sandwich. And I don't cut these up, I just lay them. Simply just set them in here. I'll take a little bit of juice and I'll drizzle it right over the top. And then this is a mix of, it's regular au jus mix that I mixed with three cups water. I'm gonna put only a little bit of it in here because the rest I'm gonna put a beef broth, but then I will put this in the fridge because I wanna serve the remaining of this au jus. I'll heat it up and I'll serve it with the sandwiches. So don't discard it, just put it like a saran wrap over the top and put it in the fridge for when the um, sandwiches are ready. You're going to use beef broth. You're just going to want this roast to nicely soak in here because then you're going to shred it. And then I usually cook it for like a half an hour longer just so all the little shredded meat can absorb all the flavor and stuff. So you're going to cook it on low for like six to eight hours until it's ready to shred. All right, so now we're in a time where it's cooked long enough and we're going to nicely shred it. We're going to get it all in these nice chunks here. And I'm like I said, I'm going to shred it and then put the top back on and let it cook for another hour or so. All right, so this is cooked for the 30 minutes that I wanted it to so it can absorb all those yummy flavors. It looks so delicious. So I'm gonna take some tongs here and I'm going to put some of this shredded beef on these um, little Hawaiian bread hoagies, put some cheese on top, melt it in the oven, it'll be ready to go.